You want to use the features of the Fronius Wattpilot, but don't have a Fronius inverter ready yet? That's not a problem, we have the perfect solution for you, as we show you today in our video, the standalone solution with the Fronius Wattpilot together with our Fronius Smart Meter IP. There are basically two use cases how you can use this solution. First use case is the load balancing functionality. If you want to make sure that when choosing one or multiple Wattpilot devices, you want to make sure that your household loads are not overloaded. You can use this standalone solution when measuring smart meter IP data and sending it to a Phonios Wattpilot. The Wattpilot will now communicate between devices and will make sure that your household is not overloaded by its load. Second possibility is to use PV surplus energy from a third party device. So whenever you have an existing PV inverter and want to use it for charging the electric vehicle, you can easily do it because the Phonio Smart Meter IP will detect the data at the feed-in point and will forward it to the Phonius Wattpilot, which can use it to charge your electric vehicle. For the commissioning of the system, we start with the Phonius Solar Start app to commission the Phonius Smart Meter IP. Therefore, you click on the Solar Start app on your mobile device and hit the Start Setup button. There you will find a list of components that you can commission with this app and we choose the Phonius Smart Meter IP. Then you will show a few infographic where you see how to open up the Wi-Fi access point on the device. When you have done so and open the access point, you click to next and then you can scan the QR code on the front of the device directly. And then the app will automatically connect to the web interface of the Phonio Smart Meter IP. When connected, please type in your technician password that you just set during the initial commissioning process of the Phonio Smart Meter IP. With this password, you can log into your system and then on the left top corner, you will find the settings page. There you hit this little symbol here to enter the settings. And then on the front page, you will see here the point network. So please make now sure that the Phonius Wattpilot as well as the Phonius Smart Meter IP is online in the same network. This is very important so that the two components can find each other and couple each other to access uh, to exchange data. Second thing what you want to check is the point firmware update. And there we recommend you to activate the automatic update function to make sure that your Phonius Smart Meter IP always has the, the newest uh, software update. You can also manually check for updates by hitting check updates button and then the Phonius Smart Meter IP will automatically check for new updates. When you have the newest update installed, your Phonius Smart Meter is now ready for coupling with the Phonius Wattpilot. To connect to the Phonius Wattpilot app, we now want to change the network and therefore we hit our Wi-Fi settings and connect to our Phonius Wattpilot. When we have entered the Phonius Wattpilot Wi-Fi, we go back to the Phonius Wattpilot app and open up the app. When we are now connected with the device, we want now to hit the settings button on the, top, on the bottom of the page. Here in settings, we can open up the point cost optimization. And when we scroll down the page, you will find the point inverter slash smart meter IP. We can enter these settings here. And now the Wattpilot will search and find automatically all the devices that are paired with this network. Down below you see under available, our Phonio smart meter that we just brought online in the network together with the series number that is online here. We hit the device and then click on the pair button to connect the Phonio smart meter IP with the, uh, with the Wattpilot device. Now you see a red check point here on the right hand side and now the smart meter IP is paired with the Wattpilot device and therefore you can make sure to use all the functionality within your system. However, please make sure for now there is no connection to Phonius Solar Web because you don't have a Phonius data source. So no Phonius inverter in the system since you only have a smart meter IP together with the Wattpilot. However, when you install a Phonius inverter later on, you can instantly upgrade to Phonius Solar Web and have all the data from the Wattpilot as well as the smart meter IP 
data online in Phonio SolarWeb, so you can use the whole uh, infrastructure there, so to say, when you decide to later on update a Phonio's inverter.